Hey guys, I'm back again and I'm going to do a makeup tutorial today. I'm going to do full face once again and I'm going to show you how to go from looking like this to looking glamorous on your night out. And today I'm going to use a couple of different products that I haven't used in my previous tutorials. So um, let's get started. Alright, so my face is washed and I've moisturized and I'm just going to put my hair back. Um, I curled it using the New Me Titan 3 curler. Let's see if you guys can see it. This is actually the best curler. It comes with three different size rods. So I did it before, right before. Okay. I moisturized, moisturized my face and now I'm going to put on this MAC primer. Today I'm going to use um, this Eve Pearl HD foundation. I picked this up uh, at iMats and I talked about this in my first tutorial. Um, well, not tutorial, it was the iMats haul video. So I really love this foundation. And they have their own way of putting it on. They have like their own contouring technique. So I'm gonna try to follow that one, but I might not be perfect with it. So what you're supposed to do is with one side, and I also picked up this brush, which is really good from them, pick up the darker side and just put it kind of in the middle of your cheeks. And anywhere you have um, a lot of red spots. And then with the other side, pick up the lighter foundation. Okay. And then what you're supposed to do, you could cover the eyelids also, is use a nine latex sponge. I believe that's what they said. And just wet it. They, it actually comes with a sponge, but I'm using this one. And then just blend everything in. You could do it very lightly. Next, I'm going to go to eyebrows, and I'm going to use my favorite um, by It Cosmetics Brow Power. And my eyebrows are really bad now. I may have made them even worse, but I promise you I'm growing them out. I'm not going to touch them, and in two to three weeks, hopefully they'll look a lot better. So let's do brows. is eyes. I'm gonna cover my eyes with Urban Decay Eye Primer, the eye potion. For eyeshadow, I'm also gonna use um, Urban Decay. It's called El Dorado. If you could see, really nice color. And I'm going to go in with my MAC blending brush and just put it all over the lid. So I actually picked up this color a while back when I was trying to do one of Kim Kardashian's look. So this, she used to use a color just like this um, a lot. She has a little bit of a different look now, but this used to be a color she really used. Okay, for the crease, I'm going to use my MAC Swiss Chocolate. 
and a brush that looks like this. Let's blend it in with a blending brush. So we're going to use this for the lower lash line as well, and I'm using my bedhead brush that looks like this. Let's do liner. I'm going to use NYX again, and I'm going to use this brush by Sigma. This is a small eyeliner brush. Oh, oops, there it is. Number E10. I don't know why, I just sometimes find it more helpful to use a brush like this rather than this brush. I mean, you could do it either way, but whatever works for you, everybody's different. I'm going to line the whole eyelid. are almost done. I'm going to line the waterline with Smolder by MAC. This is so old. I know I need to get a new one, but this is a really good color. Okay, I think let's do a couple of individual eyelashes, maybe on every eye. And I'm going to use the medium black by Ardell and of course the duo glue so the easiest way to do this is use a tweezer I'm going to just show you. you're going to pull and when you're pulling the eyelash out you want to try to pull it out closer to the tip of it just dip can you see this you probably can't see this Okay, so I put the glue right there and you just dip like that. See, put a little, let it dry. And then we're going to put it on the outer corners.
drying. I did um, two on each, two here, two here. You could do more or less, it doesn't matter. And, and what you could do is kind of go all from out to the inner corner of the eye. Um, you could keep it all long or you could trim the ones that are closer to the inner corner. So we'll let those dry for now and let's do the rest of the face. Going to use my YSL concealer. This is, I don't know, it's Radiant Touch. I don't remember the color. I'll find out though. But you kind of push a button and it comes out. And what I want to use is this brush I got from Sigma. It's a um, precision flat angled P88 to blend everything in. So I'll start with the nose. again with my Mac and this cool brush I got at Sephora. Look how cute it is. And then I'm going to go back with the Sigma brush. Let's do blush, MAC blush. Okay, and now we're going to blend, blend. What I'm going to do is spray my blending brush with the MAC Fix It. blend it in. Looks nice. Okay, let's go back to the eyes. So you see, you could kind of see the white right here. I'm just going to go in, press to make sure the lashes have stuck. The left eye came out a little bit better, but it's okay. So what you can always do is if you get some of the glue residue, like the white that's left on the lashes, is take a liquid liner and kind of go over it. to cover it up. So this eye is okay. I don't know why this one was a little bit messier. If you want, you could reapply a little bit of mascara just so everything blends in better. But you see, it's funny. So like even those two um, individual lashes on each side open up the eyes a little bit more and definitely make it cuter. So our eyes are set, our face is set, and now we're going to do lips. And with this look, I want to do a bright lip. I'm going to use this um, also YSL. The name of it is Rogue, I think, number 10. So look, it's a really cool color. And their lipsticks are amazing. They're super creamy. And then I'm going to use an NYX lip liner in a similar color. This is called Sand Pink.
So I don't think you need lip gloss over this because it's a super creamy color. And we'll put the hair back down. Okay, and there we go. Okay guys, so I hope you like this look. Um, like I said, I used a little bit of a mix of brands today and mixed it up. And like I said, the eyelashes always make a difference even if you're just using a couple of individual lashes. Practice makes perfect. I have times where I put them on perfectly. I have times where I'm a disaster and the glue is like all over my face and my eyes. So this is it and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching. Bye.